All right, guys, by now, at least you should at least have a really grasp about expressing a ball, and you should clearly know how to do certain things, of course. But anyway, today we're going to be focusing about how for us to create our own helpers themselves. Now, uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. First thing first, we're going to go ahead and create a variable called HBS. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the express handleball package right here and use a method from it called create. Now, this method takes an object itself, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, one thing we need to note is we're going to take every key value pair that was inside the HBS whenever we were configuring it previously. We're going to copy all of this into the new function. All right, once it's been copied over the new function, then we no longer will need this. We can go ahead and delete all of this. And now we're going to take the new variable that we just created and use it right here and do... Uh, use it with that engine. So this is technically how we configure in order for us to be able to build what they call uh, helpers ourselves. Cool. So let's run this and make sure that it works. Refresh this again, and as you guys can see, it's still working. Nothing, not nothing broke or anything like that. Cool. All right. So how do we create custom helper? This is how we do it. Create custom helper here. We, we use a key property called helper, and this is an object. And this object can take an entire list of every single helpers that we would like to create. For example, let's create one called calcul calculation. And every single helper needs to have a function. So we're going to go ahead and create this function here. Now, check this out. The name here, this key property is going to be representing the name of your helper now if i go into any of the uh, handleball file within the view folder for example if i go over the index i can use this new helper like this calculation this is the beauty about it but there's something else i'm going to be using i'm going to be like expecting a value which means that i'm expecting this to pass a value whenever i call it all right so when i call it i'm going to give it a value of 20 or maybe it could be 50 it does not matter what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna say alright whatever value we pass I'm gonna take that value take the value and add and add 7 into it alright so now check this out when I'm using the 50 it's gonna add 7 into it and make it 57 let's see if that works and there you go ladies and gentlemen we now have 57 and of course you can feel free to multiply it do whatever you want let's multiply this by five and 50 multiplied by five it's gonna be a result of 250 themselves all right so this is the bottom line is whenever you're using helpers you can do some sort of different operation with it now remember the way that we are calling this helper is like this but there's a different type of helpers that we can also create if you guys remember about uh, something like the helper like the if helper themselves like this type of helper Right. Well, we can also create it by using the, the helpers uh, itself like that. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to create something called a list. We're going to pass it a function again. And here, what we're going to do is we're going to expect a value. And the way we're going to call this list itself is we're going to expect it like this. We're going to say, all right, I want the list to be I want the list to be pound list. And I want to be able to close that list. And then we're going to pass it a value. Uh, of value into this now if you look at the index itself and if we see where we are rendering this index uh, template itself so this is where we are rendering it there is a value called title so we can technically go back into our end template and pass this title value here so the bottom line is whenever you create those type of helper they are expecting you to pass a value inside of here this is very very critical and then now this is how we access this value all right what is inside this value the value is title aka this is equal to the home page so what we can do is in this case is we can do something very fancy now whenever you're using this uh like this like for example list pound list we need to use a second uh parameter here called options and this option, what it's going to do is we can actually build, the beauty about this is we can build some sort of HTML tag element. So we're going to build like probably an H2 tag. We're going to build like uh, another, open it and close it, H2 tag. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the options program, which is this one right there. And we're going to use a function for me called FN. And this FN itself takes 
takes an, an object as themselves here. So we're going to pass it uh, whatever value it is, and then we just pass it the value like this. So uh, now to illustrate certain points, let's just name this. And this might sound confusing for you guys, but let's just name this test and give it actually the value that's coming in. Once again, there is a value that's coming in, which is in our case is equal to is equal to the title and the title has the value of home page. So the way we are accessing it inside of our helper, we're accessing it like this. So what we're doing with this function is we're saying, all right, after we after we we use the list the way we are using it, which is like this, we are passing the value of title. And there we go. We are passing the value of title. And then we're going to use that value title to create an H2 tag with it. And the way we can access whatever value is by doing test, AKA now inside our index HTML, we can do, we can do, or we can do something like this text test. All right. This might sound a lot guy, but bear with me. We're almost there. We're going to go over it one more time just to kind of illustrate what we're doing. All right. And if I refresh this and there you go, ladies and gentlemen, I now have homepage going on. What's happening? What is this test? Well, this test is actually equal to anything that is inside the object of the option that FN. So this is how we access it. For example, if I had some sort of value, like uh, probably like prove something like that. How about that? Whatever this is. Now I can head over my template engine and access the order value by doing pro. So the bottom line is anything that is inside the option that FN, FN itself, we access it by just referring to the key that is within this object here. Okay. This is very critical. And now ladies and gentlemen, I now have homepage and I also have this one, but why is this useful? This is useful for a lot of reasons. Now check this with me, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to pass a whole different object to this uh, template engine here and the object that I'm going to pass is going to be a people array. So this is the people array that I'm passing. Like remember, once again, this is the whole people array. So I'm going to take that people array and whenever I'm using the list, I'm not going to refer to the title, but instead I'm going to refer to the people. Now be mindful. This is an array. Okay. This is an array. Now inside my helper here inside the list, this value is going to represent the people. So value is going to be representing the people array themselves. And what I can do here, I can set up a few things I can set up. And now like I'm going to set up a list, open and close this tag here. Oh, UL. And then uh, what I'm going to do, oops, let's indent this a little bit. Now bear with me guys. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up follow and this follow, what it's going to do is it's going to take the value or AKA once again, the people array is going to take that value and loop over it. It's going to start at zero and stop at the length of that array, which is value and then keep incrementing by one. Now, every single time that it's doing, I'm going to take the out, which is the URL tag and whatever was inside of it, I'm going to add something else to it. So whatever was inside of it, I'm going to also add something into it. All right, what I'm going to add into it is I'm going to add an LI tag and I'm actually going to make sure that I close it out as well. There you go. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use this option value option that F and N. And remember, once again, it takes an object. Now, if I do value that I, this actually is representing for every single object. And if we head over, we are sending this object. Where is it? The handler. There you go. Handler is equal here. So every single object is equal to first name, last name, first name, last name, first name, last name. All right. Back again to our handler here where we are building this one. Now this entire object is referring to first name and then uh, after that last name. So which means once again, remember anything that is inside the F, the option that F and N, we can access it inside our template over here by just doing first name like so and and last name last so like so cool all right this stop making sense for you guys anyway long story short let's actually finish our function so once again instead of passing this object here we're going to pass the value which is going to refer to every single object and now what we can do is we can return our out and make sure we close the order tag that we opened, which is we did not close the tag. So we're going to go ahead here 
and make sure that we close this tag here. Now check this again, guys, and see when I run this page and now, ladies and gentlemen, I have something like this. I'll have an entire list of things. So this is everything I had for you with Golden Helpers once again. With helpers, you can do a lot of calculation. If you do not have a second param, then the way you need to call your helper is like this. But if you have the second param of option and you're actually utilizing this command, uh, this uh, param, you have to call your your helper like like so. Like you know, this is list, and make sure that you pass it a value. And the way we send value is however you are rendering your template. Here we are sending the people. And now once again, this option that fnn itself takes an object and this object you can pass a key value pair and the way we access these is by inside wherever your uh, helper is we can access whatever is inside the option that fnn function like so so and at the end of the day you can build something's dynamic and we have something like this i hope this helped for you guys and uh we do have a last thing we're going to try to cover is how for you guys to add comments using uh express and the board themselves see you guys in the next session